the gospel reading that we just listened to talks about a person performing miracles in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and then the disciples tried to stop him. And our John relates this incident, this episode, to our Lord. And the response that our Lord gives is very interesting. The response is very instructive. Our Lord says, do not stop him. For whoever does good in my name cannot turn around and speak ill of me. Whoever is with us is not against us, and so on and so forth. Something stands out in this particular encounter, in this particular episode. And that is the feeling of exclusivity, or you might call it exclusivism. That is what stands out here in this gospel passage, that the disciples have this feeling of exclusivism or exclusivity, that they are the special ones, they are the elect, the select group to whom the Lord had given special powers to cast out demons, to perform miracles and do wonderful things. And therefore, their mindset is that anybody that did not belong to their group could not do the same things they were doing. Anybody that was not part of them could not perform such miracles or carry out such wonderful deeds in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the mistake they made was that they kind of felt that they could domesticate the Holy Spirit that they could confine the Holy Spirit within their own little circle, without knowing that the Spirit of the Lord blows where he wills and can use whomever he wishes in any or every given circumstance. And our Lord pointed it out to them that you don't stop him. If he is performing miracles in my name, leave him because he's with us. And I believe and hope that they got the message. My dear beloved brothers and sisters, if you go through the history of the people of Israel in the Old Testament, they also had that similar sentiment or orientation that they are or were the chosen people of God, and rightly too they were. But they felt that God was only the God of the people of Israel, and that there was no salvation outside the confines of the Israelite territory or the Israelite nation. But as time went on, the prophets began to make it very clear to them that God was also God of other peoples, even though they were the chosen people of God. Sometimes we too have this exclusivist mindset. And in fact, there could be the we dimension to this problem and the I dimension to it. I repeat, the we dimension which is the one we see in the reading, in the gospel, and then the I dimension. The we dimension is when, just like the disciples, we condemn other people simply because they don't do things exactly the way we do them. They don't see reality or perceive, perceive things the exact way we do. And for the fact that they do not belong to our group, we condemn whatever they do, whether it is good or bad. We condemn it. And therefore, we simply feel that so long as that guy or those people do not belong to our own group, they can't do good. They cannot get it right. That is the we dimension. Then the I dimension is also very similar to the we dimension. The I is when, for one reason or the other, I feel that I know it all. The way I see things is always the best. And the consequence is that whatever any other person does that does not validate or confirm my own perceptions or ideas or the ways I do things, then that person must be wrong. I would hardly accept what another, what another person does simply because he or she has not done it exactly the way I do or see that things should be done. So this is what the Lord tells us today that we should be elastic, that we should be open-minded to accepting good from other angles. It must not always be from me, it must not always be from our circle. 
that the Spirit of the Lord works with people in various circumstances, and we should not allow clandestine, you know, clannish mentalities or parochial instincts to prevent us from seeing good in other people or in other areas, especially when the Lord tries to reach out to us through other people. Let us not stop the guy that is performing good in the name of Christ because he's not from our group. Let me stop condemning someone or judging someone doing something good simply because he or she doesn't do it exactly the way I do. The good must not always come from me and I don't have the totality of it. Others also possess, possess it.